thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Can we swim upstream or what? I received a call uh, at about 6.30 last night from uh, Chris Dudley, who conceded the election and very graciously offered me uh, luck in the future. And I told Chris that I hoped that he and his supporters would stay engaged and would continue to work with all of us as we put our state back together. Because this election was not about a candidate. It was about the kind of future we want for our state and about what it's going to take to get there. And today we're taking that first step towards a better future. And we're taking that step thanks to you and the hard work of everyone who made this moment possible. I can't begin to, uh, I can't begin to name all the people who brought us to this point, but I do want to thank my family. I want to thank my incredible campaign staff. And I want to thank the thousands of Oregonians who contributed and gave their time and energy on the doorstep, on the telephone, in the workplace, and through their financial resources. This is your victory. But I also want to acknowledge some people who aren't here today. I want to acknowledge all of the Oregonians who are out of work and looking for a job and wanting to know that there will be good jobs for themselves and their families in the future. And I want to acknowledge all the kids at the very beginning of their lives who need the resources and the attention and the skills to be successful in school, to be successful in the workplace, and to be successful in our society. And I want to thank all the Oregonians and acknowledge everyone who sees our state and recognizes its natural wonder and knows that it's worth fighting for and that it's a legacy that's important to pass on to future generations. This is your victory too, because those are the people and those are the values that we've been fighting for. While the winds that have been buffeting the national political scene were certainly felt here in Oregon, we did not succumb to them. In this election, Oregonians said we will not be defined by what we are against, but rather by what we're for. We acknowledge we acknowledge that we understand the nature of the challenges facing us and that we're ready to roll up our sleeves and meet those challenges together. And we will meet them together. As I said when we started out down this road 14 months ago, this race is not about being a Democrat or about being a Republican or about being an Independent. It's about being an Oregonian. It's about being willing to make the investments and the choices and the priorities based not on where we are today, but where we want to be tomorrow and what we need to be 10 years from now. Today, we're taking the first step along that road. That work begins right here and right now. Today marks not the ending, but a beginning. Beginning of our collective effort to put our state back together and to build a solid foundation for the future. None of us should underestimate the magnitude of the challenges that lie before us. We have a daunting budget deficit. We have high unemployment. We have a very divided state that we must bring together. We have a very divided legislature that has to reach across the aisle in order to find solutions for Oregon. And we've inflicted wounds on one another in this election cycle, and we must heal them. But I believe that somewhere in America, the state needs to be able to demonstrate that we can weather this kind of challenge without losing our sense of community, without losing our commitment to one another, and emerge stronger and more united than when we began. And if you can't do that in Oregon, you can't do that anywhere in the United States. And that is exactly what we're going to do here in the state of Oregon. So I want to thank all of you for your energy. Thank you for believing in Oregon. Thank you for believing in one another. Thank you for your courage and your willingness to step up and help shape Oregon's future. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>